Hi guys, this is Miss Witt. I hope you're all doing really well and finding the videos kind of fun. They were fun to make. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the packet. Um, I've had some questions and so I'm going to go into detail with you. Bear with me. I'm going to share my screen. I picked just a random packet. I picked a third grade packet to explain to you. So let me open that up. All right, so on your screen, you see the beginning of the third grade packet. Um, at the top here that I've highlighted, this is where you can view the video each week. This is the third grade one. Um, and I know it says on here that after you've watched the video, complete one assignment per week. That is just, that's talking about each video has an assignment um, that we will do together or I'll go into great detail about how to do it. Um, I know for third grade in particular, the um, composer research project that will, that will take you some extra time outside of the video. Um, so for that, sometimes on the assignments, I won't make you do a choice board activity that week, but you have to watch the video to find out. Um, so it has the date that the assignment is assigned and the date that it is due. And if you see something on here that looks the same as it does the younger grade, that is because there are different levels to those assignments. Um, if you need to contact me, my email is right here. Um, on the second page, the choice board, this is where a lot of questions have been. All right, so at the bottom of my videos that I posted on YouTube, I went back and added this. There's this link right here. The, underneath the choice board, it says, if you would like a template for any of these choice board assignments, please go to the link below to print. Um, I've created a folder that's got a, a grade level. There's a folder for each grade inside of it. And you go into your grade and you can see all of the assignments broken down by um, the number that they are in the choice board. Now the folders are not quite ready at this point. If you go into them, you'll see maybe a couple of assignments. By tomorrow, it'll look really different. Um, I'm working on that. Um, so stay tuned for that and keep looking. Um, there are descriptions on the third page here that tells you how to complete each of these assignments. But if you would like a template, everything on here can be done with a pencil and a piece of paper. You don't have to use any templates, but if you want one, I know that I like to have a template for stuff. You can go to this link and find one for each one of those choices. Um, at the bottom down here, there's going to be another video that comes up here in a little while that explains this first one, Quaver. This is something that we use in class. Um, all the students have seen it at least once, probably more than that. Um, Quaver's Marvelous World, it's a music program that we use. And it has this interactive classroom where the kids can play instruments and hear different sounds. It's really fa fantastic. Um, so there's a different code for each class by grade. So there's a third grade code, a second grade code, a first grade, sixth grade. Um, you'll find that inside your packet. Um, if you did not get a copy of one of these packets, um, please send me an email. They should have been in every single bag that you picked up. Um, and homeroom teachers also sent them out. So please send me an email if you did not, because this will be really helpful for you. Um, on, the, on the next page, it is just a, um, this is the composer research project. You don't need to print that out. I gave it to you if you're in third through sixth grade. Um, and when we do this assignment, we'll go into great detail on this website for you so that it'll help you out. Um, any other things I had on here in your packet were things that I didn't think you'd be able to write out. So other than that, if you have any questions about these things, these are great websites for you guys to go to and play around with. Um, the, the SFS Kids is going to ask you to, if you have Adobe Flash. If you don't, it's a simple download. If not, it's probably not going to work. Um, and the New York Philharmonic Kids is really fun. It's got some games on there. Um, and the Classics for Kids, we're going to use that one for our composer project. It's pretty fun. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, and I hope you're staying safe and have a great Easter weekend. Oh, we just had our Easter weekend. I hope it was fantastic. Have a great day, guys. Bye.